windy, so I'm not sure if you're going to hear anything I'm saying or if it's going to be too annoying to listen to um, with the wind, but here we go. We just got a little slip lead on um, Murphy here. And we're getting him moving with me, paying attention to the other end of the leash that there's someone on there, not just pulling, good boy, pulling and tuning, tuning out the handler on the other end as just an anchor, a drag, someone to drag along. Um, it's communication. I'm not giving him commands. I'm not just saying heel, heel, heel and pulling on him because he doesn't know what that word means, even though he's been through a trainer and he's supposed to know what it means. He did not receive any training, nothing worthwhile at his five weeks of board and train. Um, so we're starting from scratch and there's no sense in barking commands at him that he does not know how to understand or he's too excited and out of his mind to pay any attention to you. So we're just slowing his mind down. We're being calm and quiet. Well, I was being quiet until I started videoing. Now I'm chattering and you can tell he's a little more distracted than he was because I'm doing all the chattering. But we're walking slow. I'm getting him to yield to the leash pressure, stay with me, keep his attention on me, not on everything out there. Um, so that's all we're working on. Nice, slow, and we change paces. We'll speed it up here. Staying with me, we're together. Going for, it's like going for a walk, holding hands. Just nice, casual thing, not having to like have a death grip on his leash while he's trying to drag you all over the place and he can because he's very powerful um completely that's when he's completely tuned out you're irrelevant to him you're only the only thing you have is physical control of a dog like this if that's what you're doing if he's pulling on the end of the leash you don't exist to him anymore and you're just restraining him you're not training him. You're not teaching him to be tuned in to, yeah, to his handler. Walking, we're going for a walk together. I'm leading, he's following. That's how we roll. But he's like, he's such a sweetie. I love this dog already. He's just a little, he gets, he gets way anxious and overexcited and he can't focus. So we just have to just start doing things much slower with him. So his previous trainer, he was on a prong collar, an e-collar, but he was completely turned out. We were just using, he was just using those tools to, as leverage to restrain him more. It's not what we want. We want to get to his mind. We want to connect with him, with his mind and, and get him to, to understand how to, um, just be in a calmer, a calmer, better place, not just frantic and out of his mind all the time and not understanding and can't give direction to somebody that's paying no attention to you and is over the top, over escalated, over stimulated. Everything else is more relevant than, than you are. You, you can't win, then it's just a battle. You can add tons of tools, give yourself more power, but you're never gonna, you're never gonna get anywhere with that. But anyway, that's my rant. I just wanted to show um, handsome Mr. Murphy here. Hi, yeah, you. Um, just being a sweetheart and a dream. Now, yeah, like there's not a lot going on. There's like some rabbits and some, there was a, some quail over here, but there's not a lot going on. You know, so if there was stuff going on, it'd be a different story. But this is where we gotta start. You can't expect them to, handle himself with a whole lot of distractions without taking the time to really connect with him and teach him things in a low distraction environment. Good boy. Good. All right, well, that's it. There's Mr. Murphy.